right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So in the last video, I showed you, showed you guys how to put in a fish tape from one box to the next, right there. All right, so today I'm gonna to be pulling some wire using the Wire Caddy from Southwire. Thanks so much, Garvin, for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sponsoring today's video. All right, so if you guys want a Wire Caddy like this or anything else electrical, make sure to check out garvinindustries.com. Using the code DAILY, you can get 20% off your order. And uh, thanks so much, Garvin, for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to use this bad boy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your wire and you want to stick it on there all in the same direction. I'm probably just gonna do one on each different set. Um, they have these nice pins, you can pull those out and I'm gonna make sure all my wire is heading this direction. So you're gonna find the end of your wire and put it on there. You're gonna have to probably pop out the end of these and make sure it is going the right direction. Like I said, I lost it so I'm gonna to have to find it again. So there it is. So there is that one. So there's my first one. Go ahead and put that on. And then go ahead and take out my next one and make sure that is heading the same direction as well. And then poke that, poke that. And go ahead and set that one up. I could probably set these up on like two of them, but I'm just gonna show you three of them. Have these nice pins right there. That one's ready to go. All right, so once again, go ahead and put your wire on facing the right direction. And why you wanna leave the plastic on is because otherwise the wire will start unspooling. So once you're ready, go ahead and take off the plastic. So these are just some baby rolls I got from Home Depot. Um, they're little 100 footers. Usually you would be using 500 footers, um, either in number 12 or number 10. Alrighty, so now that we got that ready to go, we can take our wire and spool it off nicely thanks to the wire caddy that we got here. So now that we got our wire ready to go set up on our spools here, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply basically take our tape right here and tape the other two wires to our pulling wire. And I'm using the ground, the green wire as the pulling wire. Basically just gonna tape these three wires together right here. And then I'm going to um, just keep going until I get over all three of them. So once I get to the end, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ground wire through, and then I'm just going to twist it around itself a few times. Um, I kinda overshot this a little bit, but I'll cut the rest off here real quick. So I'm gonna cut that off. I've got a twister two in there, and then I'm just gonna tape over the twisted part as well. This is just a basic, basic wire head. Um, nothing too extreme. There's other methods, which I can show you later, which involves stripping out the ends of the wire and stuff like that to make a stronger head for pulling so none of the other wires fall off. But we're just going a short distance and we will not have any problems just with these two wires taped to the pulling wire. So now this is ready to go. And thanks to the wire caddy, I don't have to have anyone else helping me with the wire pull. This will spool off by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started here by itself, just so when I walk away to the other end of the wire pole, it's not gonna get stuck on the connector. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that started. So there we go. All right, so now that we have that set up ready to go, we're just gonna simply pull on the fish tape and roll it up probably as we go, and that will go by itself, and uh, here we go. All right, so there we have it. We have the end of our wire right here. And uh, there's the other end of our wire. So now we can go ahead and cut this off. And this is ready to be used for its purpose, which that will be another video. So anyways, we got the end of this wire right here and the end of this wire right here. So now we can go ahead and cut this and tie this into our other circuit over here. Probably just gonna leave a little bit right here. 
And there we go. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Garvin for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for the wire caddy. It worked out perfectly, so thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget, code daily for 20% off on your orders from garvinindustries.com. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. God bless. Peace.